friends, it's Kelly and welcome to my channel. Happy Friday everyone and well great big welcome to my new subbies. Today I have another share for the hashtag Friday Fave Paper Pad and this is an open collaboration. Everyone is welcome and this was started by Helen and it is so fun to follow that hashtag and see all of the beautiful papers that everyone is working on in their paper crafting journeys. Today my friends we have Disney, one of my favorite places on the planet. We are only about four hours from Walt Disney World here in Florida so it is such an exciting time when we are able to go. Today I am sharing the Magical Birthday Boy. They do have one that's a Magical Birthday Girl. My friends this came in that mystery box from Echo Park that my daughter gifted me for Christmas. It was filled with an amazing assortment of paper pads and she got Disney. I was so excited. This is the birthday boy. I also have a mini birthday girl, which I'll share another time. So let's jump in. Oh my goodness. This paper is classic. Disney has the most beautiful colors. I love all of the red and the black and the light blue and that pop from the yellow. Oh my goodness. This is going to make some great ATCs, great cards. You could even uh, whittle this down into some tags and then this has two of each of the sheets 24 papers and they are 12 by 12 and this one's beautiful for some background scrapbooking cards you can get about four to six cards using this paper how sweet is this i love this and then with the craft popped back in here oh this is just beautiful sorry about my arm this is going to make some adorable flip tags some little mini flips just so cute you can put easy four five six of those in a flip this would make beautiful embellishments i already have some idea to use my little circle dies on these i think this would be so cute as well as some background cards and then there's this one awesome focal points Again, you could use these for maybe even a circle, um, could be an ATC coin. Beautiful, you could make nine cards right, right there and then use some of these as the background paper. So beautiful, oh, I love this one. I love these colors together. Love how bright and fun and beautiful. And here's six more, let's make great journaling, little tuck spot cards. So that's beautiful. I'm about to miss a page here. There's this one. Very classic, very beautiful. Same for this one, and I just love it. And then I think it starts over again. Um, another little tuck spot journaling cards, or you can just put this as the focal point of an A2 size card. Oh, I love this one. I just love, and here it starts over. I absolutely adore this paper pad. And then the one for the girl has more of a pink tones. She also got the ephemera in that box. She had no idea when she ordered it what it was going to be. It was a Christmas present for me, but I love this. I love how beautiful these colors match. This is also the Echo Park cardstock, and then it came with the matching ephemera. So I love that. This was such a fun, fun box. This also is going to be really fun to build up some of those memo decks, some tag flips, because things like this are perfect for that. And even though it's ephemera and you might think, well, this is too thin, this is really, you can build this up so easily. Use a lot of very safe and awesome um, phone dimension tape and you're good to go. So that is my share today for the Friday Fave Paper Pad. And um, I hope everybody's doing awesome and you have a great start to your weekend. And um, I can't wait to see what papers you have today. Happy Friday, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.